be doing? It's nothing yet. This thing keeps collapsing. I see we have not yet become familiar with the ancient art of ironing. No, we haven't. And if you want to back out, you can go right ahead. Oh, baby, I'm not marrying you for your domestic skills. Well, you better put that thing away. Chief Ryan will be here any minute. Honey, I don't own a single piece of clothing that isn't wrinkled. Oh, except for my Springfield Police Department sweatshirt, and I refuse to get married in that. You can iron later. Right now, we got to wash glasses. I just coughed up 30 bucks for a bottle of scotch. 30 bucks? Yeah. We're asking for two weeks off without notice. I mean, Chief Ryan is going to need a lot of friendly persuasion here. Whose idea was this eloping thing? Maybe. It's wild. It's impulsive. It's us. It's tonight. It's tonight. Mm. Mm. What for? Ice. What are you going to do? Stick a scotch in the ice like a bottle of champagne? <laughs> no, you see, it's very classy. If you take the ice and you put it in the glass with those, what do you call it, prongs? Tongs. That's what I said, tongs. I don't think that Chief Ryan is going to be suckered by how you put ice in his glass. And actually, I think the ice is going to end up being the weapon he throws at us after the big request. We are asking for a honeymoon here, and deep, deep down, somewhere down there, Ryan is a romantic. Yeah. I hear George Steinbrenner's a big romantic, too. <laughs> Hark! There's ye old softy now. <laughs> Say a prayer. <clears throat> hey, Chief, glad you can make it. Hi, Keith. Want a drink? I haven't been in this place since I was a kid. I bet you didn't know I grew up just down the street. I did not know that. Yeah, my Uncle Patrick was a fireman. He used to bring me down here and put me up on the big trucks, let me slide down the pole. They had the dogs, the Dalmatians, the whole bit. Wow. Yeah. I wondered why it always smelled like wet dog when it rained. I mean, I thought it was Zyla, but she wasn't really here long enough. <laughs> no, it was probably those old Dalmatians. You guys. Chief. Thank you. I fixed this place up very nice. Chief? Uh, no thanks. I'm on duty. It's a joke. <laughs> Cop humor. It's hard to get used to. Yeah. Now it's just afraid you're going to turn down his $30 bottle of scotch. What's wrong? I'm not supposed to tell him? Hey, I want the chief to know that he's worth breaking out the good stuff for. Why? Why what? You don't spend that kind of money for no reason. You must want something. A small favor. And we're confident that you're going to want to give it to us since, well, you were there when it all began. When what all began? Harley and me. And we know you had to put up a front in front of everybody, but we always knew that you were rooting for us. And, you know, let's face it, you're kind of responsible, and the department was our matchmaker. And now that we are about to pledge our eternal love forever to each other. What do you want? Two weeks off. <clears throat> when? Now? Nope. Not even for the good stuff. It'd be a lot easier to explain this to you if you would just sit down, you should please. Use the tongues. Look, having a drink leaves you under no obligation. It just gives you something to do while you make up your mind. See, it's my family, sir. Uh, that there's, there's there's been some financial difficulty this past year. My mother is recently divorced, and my brother. Well, you know my brother Frank. Mm -hmm. He owns the diner, and recently uh, some vandals broke in. They completely trashed the place. And now that he and I are talking about our wedding. We, 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 we knew that they would feel they'd want to help pay for it, mm -hmm. but they can't afford it now, so we decided to elope. <laughs> when did that become my problem? Oh, uh, well, see, we figured that since we're not having a wedding, that we should have a really big honeymoon. I mean, you had a honeymoon, right? You and, uh, and Mrs. Chief Ryan? Atlantic City. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Rained a lot. Uh, oh. Well, um, we're going on a cruise. Yeah. Now, now, we realize we're hitting you with a biggie here, Chief, but, I mean, our workload is pretty copacetic. Uh, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, and, and, you know, there's a lot of new talent at the station, yeah. and, and they're great depth. And our caseload is so light, light right now that we figured if we came right, to now... Right, right, you figured Ryan's got a soft spot for us. He'll probably <laughs> uh, blow us a kiss in spring for a toaster oven. I'm sorry you thought wrong. I know you want all hearts and flowers, but I'm fresh out. 
You tell me you couldn't spare us for a couple of weeks? I can spare you for a couple of weeks. You're not that critical. But the marriage... You don't think that we should get married? One cop in the family is bad enough. I mean, you can ask my wife. Chief, you don't have to tell us how rough it is. I mean, we've seen it firsthand. Sir, when he got hurt, I cursed the police force. I almost quit it myself. But being a cop is, is a part of me, and it's a part of him. And it really is part of the reason why we love each other so much. I think we'll handle whatever comes along. It adds a lot more to our life, Chief, than it takes away. And our eyes are wide open. My best detective. My, uh, best rookie. <laughs> you guys couldn't find a one-week cruise to take, hmm? Sir. It's our honeymoon. Okay. Two weeks. <gasps> But that's it for the rest of the year, you understand? Uh, no long weekends, no bar mitzvahs, no first communion. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. It's all right, go ahead. Mallet. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. <laughs>